Hey guys, welcome back to Paradise. So if you've been following along with us, you might have seen our video from uh, a few weeks ago where we got stranded in uh, kind of the middle of nowhere. Well, we had it happen again. So yesterday, we were out in the middle of nowhere again, actually a little more than last time, and our truck decided to not start again. So we were still dealing with the same truck issues from whatever, three weeks ago or four weeks ago, however long that was. Um, so as if you can probably hear in the background in this video, we are sitting in a park in the city, which means traffic. So there's probably trucks and motorcycles driving by, but we'll see if you can hear me. I'll just kind of give you an update on uh, kind of what's going on with the truck and looking for more suggestions, I guess. We looked through all your guys' suggestions from last time and kind of combing through it, trying to figure out what it could be. So I'll kind of give you a quick rundown of pretty much what we've had happen so far. So the the first time it happened, whatever, was three, four weeks ago. We were up at a spot and we were there for pretty much like a week and never started the vehicle. Um, and after a week we were ready to go so we tried to start it and nothing. It just click, 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 click and there was nothing. So we're like, okay, so we ended up flagging somebody down. They came down and tried to jump the truck from their truck and we let it sit for like 10 minutes and nothing. So they they looked around the vehicle some more and tried to see if we could like jump the solenoid or anything like that and that wasn't possible. So they ended up towing me uh, up the hill at least. So they towed me a little bit because they were thinking maybe something got jammed in like the starter or something that would maybe it would jar it loose if they towed me. So we towed it up the road, uh, didn't do anything, no, no starting at all. Um, so they towed me one more and they were thinking maybe if I shifted it into drive while I was driving or while they were pulling me, it might jar something loose. Um, so we did that and it didn't do anything, but the, then the screen said it was low battery on the, on the vehicle. So we're like, okay, well that's weird. It wasn't showing that before. So they turned the truck around and they jump started my truck and it started right away. So we're like, okay, that's when we went down and we went to the little mom and pop's place and they couldn't find anything. So we were like, well, okay, well, that sucks, but it's been starting, so we are like, we just kind of risked it and went back out again. And we were kind of staying down low, and then it kept starting and kept starting, so we're like, okay, so we kind of got riskier and riskier, and we're like, well, let's just go back to where we normally go. So we kept going farther and farther in, and so then we were at this spot for uh, the last week or whatever, and this time I made sure to, like, start the vehicle every day. So I was just like, all right, well, maybe it's just been sitting for so long or something. So every day I started it and it seemed to be fine. And then after about like day five, I think, or something like that, I went to start it in the morning and it was just like clug, clug, clug. And then it started up and we're like, okay, well, that was kind of, it took a little while. It was slow. It cranked a bit, but it started up. And uh, so then I, I shut it off and I, which I shouldn't have shut it off, but uh, I shut it off and I gave it a probably about an hour. And I went to start it again, and it started right up again. So we're like, okay, no cranking at all, just room, all right. So then I was like, well, whatever, it must be all right. So I gave it uh, probably about six hours, and we sat and had lunch and did our thing. And then I was like, well, I'll try to start it again. And then it did nothing. It just click, 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 click. And um, so I was like, oh, wonderful. For some reason, it decided not to uh, start. And it doesn't say low battery or anything. Um, so I was like, all right, well. I'll do the trick that everybody tells me to do and hit it, hit the starter with a hammer. So we're like, okay. So I went down and I hit it with a hammer and went back up and nothing, just clicking. Um, the windows worked, the radio worked, the fan worked. Like everything was still operational inside, and there's no uh, no uh, car lights on on the inside or uh, no engine engine light on the inside. So it's not throwing any errors. Uh, so then I went was trying to look through some of your guys' old comments and stuff and seeing if there was anything I could do. So I went down and was like, uh, I did the starter thing and I was hitting that with a hammer and it didn't do anything. Um, I took a wire brush and cleaned around like the uh, the ground terminal from the battery to the frame. Cleaned around that a little bit, but I wasn't able to actually remove the, the wire because I don't have that tool. So I uh, just scrubbed around it with a wire brush. Um, and then I went back up and actually just kind of hit something up top, I'm not actually sure what the part is called, but uh, I hit it in the uh, engine compartment. And so I was like, all right, well, we'll give that a shot. And I went in and it was, uh, so the vehicle was like, click, click, boom. And well, not really boom, but uh, maybe, maybe that was the right term. But uh, anyways, the vehicle started 
And we were like, okay, well, whatever. Let's just not shut it off, and we'll uh, we'll get out of here because we were uh, a long ways from civilization. So uh, we were there for like a week, and we didn't see anybody. And we were, I don't think anybody was going to be able to tow us out of there. So uh, whatever, we got it started, and we got back to the city, and uh, that's why we're here now, which is like 100 degrees, so it's been wonderful. But we have one shade tree, so it's been not too bad, but now there's a guy mowing next to us, so yay cities! Um, so that's kind of where we're at now, and it started fine this morning, there was no issues. So we're kind of, well, we're just trying to, to figure out what's going on with it, so... I don't know if it's the battery, because the battery is, well, it's a 2015, and we've never changed it, so I don't, I'm pretty sure it's five years old, so maybe it's on its last leg, but I check it with the multimeter, and it still says 14 volts, and uh, so it seems fine, um, but I'm not sure. We've seen some videos out there where it's like cells can be bad in it, but it'll still read 14 volts, so it still might actually be bad, but say it's good, so we don't know if, if that's just not giving enough energy to the the solenoid to start the starter or if there's something with the solenoid because um, it's still clicking so I feel like that means it's still sending energy to the solenoid but it's just not might not be enough in order to start it or if it's the whole starter or if it's the alternator which it sounds like if it's the alternator is usually a code that throws up on your screen so we don't think it's the alternator but I'm not gonna rule it out yet but uh, otherwise it's some faulty wire somewhere so it's just kind of, we don't want to have to spend money on every little thing and then it's just like something simple, but, um, so that's kind of where we're at now. Um, if anybody's got any more tips on, on that, there's a, li a little bit more information, I guess, but, uh, I guess that's kind of where we're at for now. Yeah, we're just going to start troubleshooting some things and kind of work it down because, we already took it to one dealership and we paid them and obviously we don't have any solution so we're uh, tired of doing that stuff so we're going to try to figure this out ourselves but obviously it's not fun when we uh, get broken down in the middle of nowhere so that's kind of, it's kind of our thing so uh, we're thinking about just leaving the truck behind and walking but it's kind of difficult these days especially when it's 100 degrees and there's a fire ban so you can't even cook your own food. So that's where we're at now guys. Um, I don't know if that helps any of you out with maybe maybe you got some other tips on what we could do or uh, things I need to carry around like I don't know we can obviously change the battery we can carry a starter around we're thinking that maybe there's a solenoid and, and then people are like well it's not really worth just changing the solenoid you should change the starter with the solenoid but then obviously it's a lot more expensive to change the starter than the solenoid so then we're just trying to figure out kind of the obviously the cheapest solution but we obviously just want to we just want to know what's wrong with it like I'm tired of fixing things and then that's not actually fixed it's like well obviously I can change the battery but if the battery's not bad then I don't want to change it so um, that's kind of where we're at now guys um, any helps is useful so obviously leave comments down below um, the last comments were fantastic we still have a whole notebook full of them so we can we've been looking at it and troubleshooting and getting the multimeter out and checking everything else out so uh, it's been fantastic having some people that are out there trying to help us out. So uh, instead of just telling us to go out and buy everything, <laughs> because it's easy to replace a whole engine, I can just go buy a whole new engine. I'm like, I'll just go buy a whole new truck too. So and then the problem will be solved, right? Um, but that's kind of where we're at now. Just we just want to learn. We want to know what's wrong with it. So if it happens again, we can know how to fix it, and we can help you guys in the future or whatever. But um, yeah, whatever. It's been fun to break down in the middle of nowhere but we've been learning and going around but today's our city day I guess so we'll try to enjoy it and not bake but anyways guys thanks for following along um, thanks for all the tips it's been fantastic um, yeah we'll keep you guys updated thanks again guys see you later